hi, welcome back to another review. This is a review of the Zcon Soggen um, 900. This was given to me as part of uh, their uh, exposure range. Um, obviously they want to try and get the name out there a bit more. And it's a, a nice dual Cree XML bike light. Really bright this one. It's got a really nice strong bar mount. It doesn't move. Uh, it's really good light. There we go. There's the Cree XMLs. Smooth reflectors. Um, nice little touch in here. It's got some little glow in the dark o rings. So once you turn it off, it kind of glows back at you, which is just a nice little neat touch. Um, does have a wired in remote switch. There we go, that's non removable and it comes on quite a long um, bit of cable there. So it's nice that it has a remote switch. It'd also be nice if you could remove it if you didn't want it. And uh, oh, there we go, there's the other end of the cable. So that's the light head. Comes with a uh, charger, uh, it comes with whatever uh, country you tell um, MTBR Evolution or Zcon you're from, and you'll be able to get the the correct plug for your sockets and um, a few other extras in here, it's got some velcro for the extra cable so you can tie, tidy it up uh, battery pack, this is the uh, soft cell battery pack, this one isn't sealed it's just a standard kind of heat shrink battery pack it does also come, you can choose the option of a hard cell battery pack but um, yeah, you can have whatever you like with it really. Uh, good run times on the 6 cell battery pack. Uh, it's a 1300 lumen light and um, yeah, you get about 3 hours on high. And let's just show you that a bit easier. Uh, comes with um, instruction manuals, some O rings for the um, remote switch, and some spacers for the uh, clamp for the light itself. Okay, let's get rid of that. I've um, I quite enjoyed using this one. It's got a really nice, bright, wide beam, but it's still quite punchy. It does throw some distance down the trail. I'll chuck up a beam shot now. Whoop. One, of, one of my small concerns about this light is the, uh, is the modes. Um, for example, if you're keeping it in a low mode to save your battery and you're just going up a fire road, and you're about to hit that bit of trail, uh, that nice bit of fast single track you've been waiting for, you then need to turn it into the flashing mode, plunge yourself into darkness, and then go into your high mode. And that's just a bit of a faff. Uh, it could be fixed quite simply with a bit of a smarter UI. But all in all, not a bad light. It's £122, but the price does fluctuate on the Empty Bar Revolution website. Uh, it is an Australian website so the prices do depend very much on the exchange rate at the time so it could be worth waiting if you want to save yourself a couple of quid it might be worth waiting a few days see what the exchange rate does um, but at the same time you only save yourself a few pounds <coughs> there we go nice mountain bike light from Zcon the Sogin 900 a um, couple of small quirks with it but not bad for um, 122 quid.